Welcome back to another ammo shortage video in Alaska. Today I'm here in Sodotna. If you guys don't know Sodotna, it's about three hours south of Anchorage, Alaska. We're here at the Sportsman's Warehouse and we're gonna go check out their ammo inventory. This will be my first time coming to this Sportsman's Warehouse. And uh, this is the last Sportsman's Warehouse that's farthest south from Anchorage. You have this one, you have Anchorage, and then you have the one that's up in Wasilla, which is about one hour north of Anchorage. So let's go see what they have. There's a lots of place right here. There's a sportsman's warehouse, and then it looks like there's an outdoors gear, and I'm not sure what they have, but I might go check them out too. I think that place might be more of like fishing and hiking, outdoor stuff like that. But we'll go check out both stores and see what they have for us. So this is the sportsman's warehouse in Sodotna, Alaska. Man, this place is nice. It's nice and beautiful. This is the fishing section over here. And then looks like the hunting section might be over here. So Dantna here is a very popular city for fishing. Um, it lies right here with the Kenai River. So lots of fishing and lots of out um, activities here. So a lot of tourists, they stop here and buy gears and et cetera, et cetera. And let's go check out their ammo. Looks like this is the hunting section. I might have to mute the audio. They have music playing. All right, here's the ammo section. Ooh, looks good. Guys, this place is pretty amazing. This whole wall right here is 10 mil, 10 mil, 165. $33. Buffalo bull right here, 10 mil. Some 45 auto down here. Man, they got a lot of ammunition. They also got some 9 mil too. <coughs> 40 Smith and Wesson. 40 Smith and Wesson. Wow, this place is smoking with ammo. <laughs> So much ammo, 357 Magnum 140 grain. Uh, no price on that. <coughs> Man, look at all this, dude. So much ammo here. Sportsman's Warehouse on oh, Sodotna 380 Auto 50 grain, 1500 FPS, 33 bucks, 22 Remington. So much ammo. <laughs> 10 mil auto right here, $26. They have a lot of ammunition, man. There's a lot of people here too, so we'll try to be discreet as possible. Some 45 auto, some 380. They got so much ammo here. 224 right here. Two two three forty three dollar forty one dollar for a nozzler five four nine two twenty swift seventeen and then here is their uh, limitation five box man they got a lot of extra ammo here guys twenty two super extra twenty two subsonic no prices on these guys. Five four five three nine sixty grain. Twenty five oh six. Two sixty two seventy. Quick look for all my reload audience. I apologize, but there is nothing here for you guys. <laughs> Forty five reloading brass. Five hundred count for one thirty. Some three seven five down here. Some 76251, 9 mil, 250 count. These are 50 count. $65 for these. 76251. Um, they have a thing here called free 9 mil bullets with purchase of 9 mil brass, 1,000 count, four bags or more. Um, but I wonder what kind of bullets are they giving you? Are they giving you like a box of 50 pack? But man, there's some good stuff here compared to Anchorage for sure. Let's go back and check the ammo. There's still more ammo here. 375 Ultra Mag. 375, 416, 50 BMG. 
338 Lapoo Magnum 115. This whole section down here is 338 Lapoo. And they, they have a lot of 300 blackout. These are 200 round can. And 76251. 76251. Um, 350 Legend. 30 Carbine. 7 mil. These are like really odd round, but these are like the, some of the rounds that people are looking for. 300 blackout right here. 76251 308 Win Mag. 308 uh, Win Full Metal Jacket. No price on these guys. These are good for target range and stuff. Here's the 9 mil right here. Um, lots of 9 mil. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 2, 4, 6, about 36, about 40 boxes of 9 mil. Um, 115 grain no prices on this i might ask for a price so so don't know here they do have taxes too so there's sales tax and 380 auto these are like this section here is like the handgun section man check that out guys 12 gauge Here's the magazine aisle, along with some accessories holster. You can see that the magazine aisle has plenty of magazine for various magazines or various ammunition style, various caliber, M&P, SIG, Glock. Plenty of stuff out here. Yeah, this place has a lot of stuff, man. So don't know. Doesn't look like there's any shortage here. And it doesn't look like there's any like uh, panic buying or anything like that out here. People out here are much more calmer and relaxed. A lot of folks out here have plenty of ammo already. I'm impressed with what this place has, man. They have way more ammo and way more variety than I have anticipated. Hope you guys enjoyed that selection. Let's hop over to this place called Wilderness Way Outdoor Gear. And let's see what they have. I don't think this place is a ammo store. I think they're more like an outfit clothing store. So let's go see what they have. This place is more for just a gear. Well, there you have it guys. Ammo shortage in Alaska, updating you guys from Sodotna. So you can see that as far, as soon as we get away from the city, we do find more ammunition. And I think that the reason is because a lot of folks outside of the city aren't so panic buying. But man, we found a lot of ammo here. Hope you guys enjoyed this ammo video and the price on these guys. The price wasn't too bad. Let me know what you guys are getting in your city.